Hi, my name is Jie. I have a blog called Viva Virus. Today I wanted to show you some of the um, uh, kimono, kimonos that I found. I've been making kimono dresses for the past couple, couple months, couple, maybe a year. Um, so I, what I would do is to buy kimono that's second hand, um, take it apart, wash it, and then remake it into the modern dress. Um, I will link some of the past makes I made in the description box down below so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, the first one is this one I'm wearing today. It's bright red. Um, it's in silk. It looks red with just like little lines going on. But when you actually look at it, they're little tiny flower petals like pattern in the same red color on red. It's very pretty, kind of like a showstopper dress. Um, so I bought four kimonos recently, including this one, uh, online using this app called Merukari. I think, unfortunately, a lot of the sellers on um, Merukari only ships within Japan, not overseas. Um, but maybe you can negotiate with some sellers. But I found this one uh, seller who owned a kimono shop and then getting rid of some of the uh, kimonos for really cheap. Uh, some of them have defects, like you know, um, like some some have holes or some stains that cannot be removed. That's why she was selling really cheap. It's coming outside of Tokyo, which means you know maybe they have cheaper cost of living and you know thus can sell these things cheaper. So this is a wrap style midi length dress. The ties on the side, a little bit adjustable, but I think this is most fitted for somebody has small bust as the wrap style this might not work with big breasted people maybe I don't know uh, and the back goes like this it's like a camisole style and ties in the back so it's a little bit adjustable the size wise it's fully lined I'll be posting this on my shop in Crema The second one that I'm making right now is this. It's another wrap style dress, but I made it a little bit different. Instead of camisole, like small straps, has a shoulders, uh, has provides a little more coverage. Um, I love this print. It has like, you know, fun crane print all over. And uh, yeah, I'm deciding whether or not to add sleeves. I want to, but I'm not sure if I have enough fabric. And this kimono, actually, it was a kimono jacket, so it was shorter, which meant like I have I had less fabrics. But it had really fun print uh, as a lining, which I'll be using for this lining. I'll show you in a minute. This one is the front lining cutout. I need to add facings, but this is really fun. It's orange and it's cotton. But I would like the little bit of surprise, you know, when you open up, like when the lining is, you know, unique. It's kind of, it's a, it's fun. As like a wow factor, I guess. Uh, so this is the second one. I bought three from the seller, and she gave me the fourth one for free. <laughs> I was amazed. It was so nice. I bought like a couple of them together from one seller because the seller does only ships by pay by recipient method which means chakubara in Japanese uh, a lot of the uh, shipping company does this so you can ship something to the recipient and not pay for it and expect them to pay for it it would be nice if the, you know the sender will tell you that they are shipping it by pay by recipient but sometimes you know I don't know I've had an occasion where somebody sent, shipped me some stuff without telling me that it was going to be paid by me. So, um, yeah, I'm surprised there's not more trouble in Japan, you know, like some lawsuits or something. Anyway, this is the third one. This is another uh, silk kimono. But this, is, this again is a jacket. So it's shorter in length. And it might have, oh yeah, it comes with this tie front. The color looks exactly like, you know, red beans, 
you know, like in Japan, we love to use like red bean paste, like azuki, you know, uh, that looks like that. And it has pretty prints here, but very simple. But I have to make sure to use these prints in the front where, you know, it shows. Otherwise, it'll be very, very, just, just you know, solid color piece, I guess. And um, there, there's like a little gold embroidery on this uh, white flower, which is really nice. Okay, the third one was, oh, fourth one, sorry. This was, the seller gave it to me because I bought three of them from her. It's in cotton. Um, unfortunately, it's not silk, but it's in pretty good condition. It's cute. It's a uh, fuchsia pink with kind of Japanese-y like, flowers all over the place. It would be good for a summer dress. Oh, and then I love the lining. Look at this. That's it. Um, there were four in total. Three I bought and one given by the seller for <laughs> as a free gift. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to showing you what I make with the rest of them. And I hope um, this inspires you to use kimono fabric as modern dresses or clothes that you wear. Um, the fabric quality is pretty good. You know, it's, you can find a lot of silk kimonos um, for really cheap, which is amazing. And the print is super unique. A lot of them is um, one of a kind. So um, yeah, if you can find it in your area, uh, that that might be fun. I, I'm just really into making stuff with kimono fabric right now because every piece is different and I have to think about like how to place the patterns and stuff like that. So uh, I hope you like this video and oh one more thing. Uh, on December 23rd, which is a national holiday in Japan, uh, it falls on Saturday so it doesn't mean you have extra holiday. But um, anyway, I'm having a booth at this place called Switch. Montesando. That's a photo studio um, that does like wedding photos. So I'll be bringing my wedding dresses, some of the kimono dresses to sell um, and also to just talk to you whoever comes. Um, if you have any questions about order made wedding dresses, I can answer the questions there. Um, and I have this like small mirror to give out if you stop in the booth. So um, more detail is going to be on the blog so hopefully um, I can see whoever you're watching this video and thank you so much for watching bye